This week, I have the fun task of fabricating an engine bracket for that engine there. Problem being is the car is 200 kilometers that way. So it's gonna be interesting. <laughs> I've actually been sent some photos of some rough dimensions on them so from what I can tell from there I'm able to pinpoint that the factory engine mounts are here and here and I've just put this block here in relation to that so I should be able to make a bracket that comes down and mounts to these points the only issue I have is I don't know the height of these mounts compared to here or the angle so I'm gonna go drop this engine off to them now. This is the engine that's going in the car. Um, and I will run a laser down for the car, get all the dimensions I need, as well as um, dimensions to mount this gearbox as well. So I'll get, I'll get ahead and load it up now. Just here with Billy now. What's up, boy? First time I've seen this car. But no, it's very good. So I'm gonna shoot a laser through here, pick up the heights of those two there. And we're just gonna slide the gearbox in there and see if we've got enough height in there. From here, it looks like we have all day long. Um, dropped off this engine, this gearbox, and there's the old one. She's bloody huge. Oh, well, out with that, in with the rotor. Me. Well, the aerial still works. Didn't the full rotor? Yeah. So we took the motor up. That's what happens when you take the motor off the aerial, it works. No way, didn't I in before? Nah. That's it's nice, eh? Yeah. Stand like a stand-up thing, but it's okay. Alright. Oh, the front, eh? Yeah, but no motor on there, bro. No motor. Yeah, Did look better on my garage. Hey boys. Did it? Yeah. Yeah, but looks way better in this than in an RX8, eh? Thumbs down for the RX8. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah. okay. <laughs> I'll see how it is. Well done. How's it going down there, bro? It's good, man. Yep, just chilling. Just chilling. Gearbox going in, getting it all lined up. What's this poxy bracket you got in behind here? That's actually a lot of clearance. That's that's really quite good. A hundred mil you, off. Do you, yeah, it is hundred mil. So you guys. That's what we measured, eh? Yeah, yeah. You guys with your dimensions is pretty good. Um, so just having a look at this now. The steering box is far too big. It's going to clash with the exhaust manifold. So if anyone knows of a replacement, a narrow one that we could use, it's for an E28 BMW. Yeah. Just let us know. All right, so it's the next day. I've got all the dimensions I needed and I've got some plates cut. So these are gonna be the mount plates. Got to slot in them because they're gonna have to come down on an angle like, like so. And it's got these plates here, which I'm going to just mark out here somewhere roughly where they need to be. And that there is gonna mimic the, um, the engine, the engine mount in the car. So I'll go ahead and tack all that down and then bolt these to the top of it and I should be able to start making the engine bracket.
So this is what I had in mind from the start, is to mop these up so that essentially is how the engine's gonna sit in the engine bay. These heights have all been shot with the laser as you saw and that's the angle. So all I have to do now is just build from this point here. I mean, that's bolted down, that's solid. And I'll pick up these points and design it however I want. I know I have plenty of room coming forward. Um, so I think it's good to go. The only thing I need to do is constantly check the dimensions from this angle at the back here. Um, just in case this engine moves for some reason. I don't think it will, but you never know. All right, I'll keep on. done she's all stitched up it needs to be fully welded and um cleaned up obviously and slapped some paint on but yeah it all bolts up um everything should clear i've measured off my rx7 how much room and you need for a gilmore pulley but that's all good and yeah i reckon it looks all right a lot of people don't like this type of thing but no each their own i guess i reckon that's gonna look sick in the engine bay yeah i like it all right, done. This is the gearbox cross member. It didn't need to be anything fancy. It just had a 40 mil step in the chassis rails. So managed to sort that like that. And this centralizes the RX-8 gearbox in the tunnel. So that would do. And this one's all welded, sanded up, primed. I reckon it'll look quite neat. So next step, I guess, is spray a bit of black on it and then um, meet up with the boys somewhere and they can take them. So that's all the fab work done on those. Um, the boys should have no problem just bolting that up and landing it. I triple checked even more um, when I was building it. it. It didn't move. So all the heights are correct. All the measurements are fine. So in my mind, it should bolt straight in. But anyway, I will drop those off to the boys in the next couple of days and then they can just take it from there. Um, the only other work I've got on that car coming up will be a manifold for the intake and possibly not sure yet the headers um, if they can move that power steering box um, they might be able to run the factory rx8 exhaust manifold or we're gonna have to make something that's gonna fit um, i also need to jump back onto this car my engine's still sitting over there i haven't touched it since i pulled it out since i pulled it apart so i need to start doing something with it anyway thanks for watching before I go, I forgot to mention that if you want to keep following that build of that car, um, go check out uh, Crazy R, I believe his uh, YouTube channel is. He will be posting videos up of it as it progresses. Um, it should be a bloody cool car. Anyway, 